Welcome, fifth grade. Uh, so we're now into chapter two. All right. So we're going to be studying uh, a little bit about um, how Latin America was shaped by its history. So we're going to um, set aside the elevation and climate a little bit, um, but for the most part, we're going to be focusing on um, some of the ancient civilizations for the first couple lessons here, and then getting into some more of how um, the climate and elevation and, and all that stuff have influenced. Uh, South America and Central America and the Caribbean. All right, so here we go. So your notes for this lesson, I want you to make a Venn diagram, all right? A Venn diagram uh, is usually when you have two circles, okay? And on one side, you have um, a topic, all right? So on one side, you're gonna have the Mayas. On the other side, you're gonna have the Aztecs. Okay. And in the bigger part of the circles are where you have their differences. All right. And the circle that's in the middle here, all right, this is where you're going to put the similarities that they have. All right. So as we go through the lesson, look at the differences uh, between the two. So when we talk about the Mayas, you can write your differences over here. When we talk about the Aztecs, you put your differences over here. And when we get to the similarities, you put your, the similarities in the middle. All right. Should be easy enough. So here we go. Okay, um, so the Mayas. All right, so the uh, it's a group is a group that thrived in Central America and Southern Mexico from about 300 to 900 A.D. or which is about our, in our time frame here. All right, um, so we're talking like Belize, Guatemala, Honduras, uh, the Yucatan Peninsula, there in Mexico. Okay, um, they built their they built pyramid shaped temples. Okay, so it had four sides and came to a point at the top. Um, another cool thing is that they created this number system that included zero, all right? And zero is important because zero is like a place marker, right? It shows you where you have nothing, okay? And before, we didn't really have that, so you could have something of everything. So it kind of makes it unique. Uh, and then lastly, they created um, paper from fig tree and bark, okay? So the very first papers that we, th that we have are still fibrous in nature, but in terms of their smoothness, you know, it's not smooth like the paper that you're probably writing on. It would be more rough, textured, uh, something that they could easily make. All right, Aztecs. Uh, they settled on an island uh, called Lake Tecaxo uh, in central Mexico, which they built into their capital, sit their capital city called Tenochtitlan uh, in 1325. They created an extremely large empire. Uh, they built these huge temples uh, to different gods and goddesses. Um, they were also able to create over a thousand different medicines from plants. So uh, because of their, um, really because of the type of civilization they were, they needed these. Uh, and then they also were traders that had traders that carried goods throughout the empire. So we see this network of trading already established um, in, in our area. Okay. And then so some of the things that they had in common. Uh, they built these great cities, which are true. Some of the cities are enormous. I mean, Tenochtitlan had almost close to 100,000 to, no, had close to, I think, a million people that lived in it or lived near it. You know, we're talking 1325. There's a million people living in this area. Um, they were able to create an uh, irrigation system to water their crops. Okay, so the concept of engineering uh, is advanced for this time. Uh, they were able to design an accurate calendar based on the movement of the stars. All right? Think about the Mayan calendar says that the Earth is going to change uh, in December. Okay, so we'll see if that happens or not. Um, you know, they also developed a system of writing uh, using hieroglyphics, which a hieroglyphic is a picture that represents a word or a phrase. Okay. Uh, then also they were farmers, so they grew crops um, and also corn or maize. Okay, so these are the notes for the lesson, just some basic information. We'll get more into the meat uh, in class when we do our activities, but your notes should look like this.